Hello, welcome to episode 4 of building this uh, space combat game. Um, one of the problems I had last episode was related to the inputs. Uh, so if we go into project settings input, my problem was with this vertical axis. As you can see, it's got some gravity and some sensitivity built in, uh, as opposed to down here. This uh, goes from 1000 to 1000, uh, and this is actually a one I built that I don't need anymore, so I'll go ahead and get rid of it. But here, this has a gravity of 1000 and a sensitivity of 1000, which means that as soon as you tap the button, it gets maxed out. But up here, we've got this gravity of 3 and a sensitivity of 3, which means that it actually takes a second to go positive or negative. So it wasn't reacting to me when I was tapping. It was only reacting to me when I held the button down. We're just going to go ahead and change that. Perfect. So now the ship is much more responsive in terms of when it when it uh, turns up and turns down the juice. Also, for the game design, I'm going to go ahead and add to the ship a new variable. And then we'll just multiply the lerp valve by that. And that means that if you have a high rev speed, your throttle will shift faster versus slower. Um, so, take this just out entirely. There you go. Alright, so aside from adjusting that, we're also going to uh, build a very simple HUD for displaying ships. And so that means that on the ship script itself, we're going to have an on GUI command. like this. And we're going to go ahead and calculate out where we need to put the label, what kind of label we need. So, um, sorry, there's suddenly a lot of traffic around here, so it's getting a little bit noisy, uh, and I keep cutting out to try and chop the bits off, but I'm not editing, I'm just hitting pause, so you might hear stuff. Uh, so we need to go ahead and... Uh, hold on, it was a camera. Dot ma uh, hold on. I keep saying hold on when I pause, even though it's not you guys holding on, it's me. So the, we're going to go ahead and create the screen point for where we are, like so. Now, as I recall, the screen point is probably inverted on the y axis. We'll just keep that in mind. We have to swap it around later. So we just created a little teeny mark, and let's go ahead and make that uh, a box, just to make sure that we're in the right spot. Yep. So you can see there's a little teeny box there. It's real hard to see. So there's a couple of things we need to do. The first is that we're actually going to make uh, a two-fold system here, where we have the box where we where we label it, and then we have the other box where we put a reticule around it. So to do that, we need to create an image that's going to be our brackets. Hold on for a moment while I do that. Alright, so I've created a very, very simple reticule, as you can see here. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're just going to make it so it displays. Uh, and the way we're going to do that is we're going to add in public texture 2D reticule. Uh, so this actually has two purposes. The first is to give us the image to display, but if we wanted just that, we would have that image accessible uh, via some global script. Um, and we're not doing it like that because we actually will want different reticule, ret reticules for allied and enemy ships, and maybe even different reticules depending on the affiliation. So, you know, the space zorgs are red and the, uh, you know, whatever, goblin X star cruisers are green with black shoots or whatever uh, that way we can do it ship by ship basis uh, which means that even if we scroll out to the level where you can no longer actually see the ship we'll still be able to tell what kind of thing we're looking at so down here we're going to do a GUI texture draw here we are uh, rect and then the reticule there we are go back into unity hit play Alright, so you can't even freaking see it. It's much too small. 
Beep, 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 indeed. Having multiples of two involved makes it a little bit easier, as well as just, of course, being a large... There we are, that's more like it. And as we zoom out, we continue to have the same size reticule. So we may adjust that later, so if we zoom out far enough, it actually halves itself in size. Um, but if we were to put it on another ship, uh, just create another capsule and call it dummy ship. And we'll just stick that over there somewhere. And we're going to add the ship to it, but not ship controls, because we're not controlling it. And when we hit play... Oh! The rigid body got added automatically because we require it, and of course it got added automatically at the basic level, which is not what we really like. Alright, so why don't you have a... Oh, because I never assigned the reticule for the dummy ship. So you can see the reticule is empty. Go ahead, go down to textures, and drag the reticule over onto it. There we go. So now every ship is going to have a texture. But, whoa, whoa, what's that? Why is the reticule flying off? Remember how I mentioned that the y-axis is probably inverted? This is an ongoing issue where it's just kind of arbitrary uh, whether or not something is inverted. And you just kind of have to memorize which ones are inverted and which ones aren't. Or get it wrong and then go back and fix it. So there we go. So now we have two reticules, one around each ship. But we also want to have text, so let's go ahead and add in some a label. Uh, rect dot behave. Like so. Back into Unity. Take a look. There we go. Since our name is Ship, and that name is Dummy Ship, that's what we see. So that's a very easy introduction on how to do this sort of thing, and uh, I think that's all I'm going to do for today, because it's not getting any quieter. But you can just adjust that as your heart, to your heart's content. And I'll meet you next time.